I thought I was paying attention. But I really paid attention when he came up with a kind of an off-handed quote. You know, one of those things that all of a sudden just strikes you. And this was 30, 40 years ago, I think. And I still remember it to this very day. My friend uh, Dr. Jim said, you know, I really have to say that uh, just within the past week, one of my healthiest patients ever, one of my healthiest patients ever just died. What? <laughs> well, what do you mean by that? Well, I think it's a significant thing, and uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this program is I'm going to invite him to tell you more about it, and perhaps when he listens to the program, I'll kind of move him in that direction. What could that mean? My healthiest patient just died. Well, that's a new idea, and that's what this program is all about. New ideas, ideas, influence, impact, and income. And it's for those people who want to make a difference because they're creator entrepreneurs. And this is the Creator Entrepreneur Podcast. And you know what? It's going to start right now. And we are taking time. Once again, my name is Stan Houston, and I'm going to begin with a little shameless self-promotion. But this is very important for you. I just talked to somebody who's going through some real business uh, ups and downs and backs and forth, which is very much connected to the uh, thing you've heard about, uh, the game stock, you know, squeeze, the silversmith squeeze, all of that turmoil in the marketplace which is going on. And they're very much involved in that industry. And... Uh, he uh, called me and said, Stan, what, would you, what, what, what should we do? What should I say? What should we write? And I said, you shouldn't write anything. That's right. You need to say something. And uh, this is part of my instruction, part of my uh, memory verse for you today. <laughs> In the future, every business is going to have to have, every organization is going to have in their possession, perhaps in their location, a broadcast system. You're going to have to, within a day, a minute, maybe even right now, you're going to have to be able to get on the air, just like I'm doing right now, in front of your studio office microphone, and put together a podcast program to uh, get the word out to your clients, your customers, your prospects, to those people who you're working with. You're going to have to be able to demonstrate that uh, you are not just somebody who is trying to get by by schmoozing and writing and double whatever, <laughs> doubling back, circling back. You have confidence, you have clarity. You have conviction, and they can feel it and see it in your voice and in the uh, expression you have, both maybe really in pictures or just the expression they get from the way you handle yourself. Every company is going to have to have, every organization is going to have just exactly what we're showing you now. They're going to be have to, uh, they're going to have to, well, first of all, they're going to have to be, be a little better broadcaster than I'm being right now, and uh, that will help, though, and they're going to have to learn how to do the broadcast way of life and the broadcast systems in their life and business. Has to happen. And right now, I'm going to encourage you to do just that. Get in touch with me. The Creator Entrepreneur Podcast is one of about seven that we're going to have. We have four of them going now, and the Creator Entrepreneur Podcast uh, is going and growing, and you need to join us. Perhaps you have something that uh, hundreds of thousands of people would actually like to hear and would uh, benefit from hearing from your wisdom, insight, and truth. So uh, what you're doing now is what you should be doing differently. Instead of speaking, instead of listening, you should be speaking. And uh, 
sharing the truth that you have and the wisdom you have with others, and we can help you do that. Stan Houston at gmail.com. Stan Houston at gmail.com. I'm the leader, and uh, hopefully you'll be a partner in What It Takes Radio. That's the future. I don't even think they're going to make radios anymore. In fact, uh, I just found out that... uh, Ford Motor Company has signed a major contract, and it's all about how the uh, cars of the future will be totally digital, internet compatible, and the old-fashioned radio from the towers and transmitters might be a history rather than a, a future necessity or even a present reality. So there we go. Little shameless self promotion, but it's helpful to you because you need to know it right now. You have to be in that situation. Hey, but here's the deal. Maybe he'll come and join me. Obviously, we uh, our, our our mortality, our mortality. You know, we were hoping that we'll have more mortality uh, is endangered. How many people have died of the COVID crisis now? It's over four hundred thousand. And uh, it's continuing to flow and go. And, uh, of course, uh, we're waiting for uh, when we can get the vaccination shot. Uh, My wife said to me today, she said, Stan, uh, you should be getting your call sometime this week. You're all signed up. Be ready to go. And uh, I qualify as one of the uh, elderly who is uh, set to do that. But could it be that... uh, Someone said, hey, my healthiest patient just died. What could that mean? Now, let me just give you a clue. Some people die fairly well. And others die not so well. And, of course, others die in deep despair. How will you die? Because, you know, as we, we're afraid to face it, but we will. And uh, how will we live well, think well, do well, and hopefully, uh, maybe, if God graces us in such a way, and we're uh, prepared in such a way, uh, yeah, we, will, uh, we will finish well. We will finish well. Well, the man who was telling me that story said that life is more than health and medicine. And that health is more than life and medicine. And well-being is more than our physical ability or our limitation. All of us are going to be less healthy, at least in our physical ability and our strength, We can push it off, we can try and work it off, we can try and uh, Botox it off, but we're going to get old, and we're going to get older, and uh, then uh, we're perhaps going to get weaker, and we could get sicker, and uh, then we're going to die. But could we die healthy? Could we really die healthy? Well, my friend is perhaps going to tell you a little bit about that, but... I'm just leaving it at this short little program now by saying, think about that. What could it possibly be and mean to say that my healthiest patient just died? Yeah, think about that. Perhaps you'd like to tell me what you think. StanHousted at gmail.com. StanHousted at gmail.com. And at the same time, I have another request for you. I'll be back. And that theme, which I oftentimes use uh, from one of my favorite films, The Last of the Mohicans. Great storytelling. 
Hey, storytelling is the only effective means of communication. And that's why I want to teach you how to be a storyteller. I want to teach you how to use the modern media. I want to help you do exactly what we're talking about. I want to help you make your mark in the marketplace. You're going to have to do that. Remember, maybe if you're uh, somewhat aged, you didn't ever think you'd need a fax machine, but then, of course, you did. And then you didn't. Oh, we don't need one of those cell phones. Oh, no. Didn't think you needed that. But now you do. Uh, hey, uh, I don't think we need a website. Sure, we don't need a website for our business. Didn't think you're going to need that. But now you do. And you're going to have to need a way of communicating through the Internet, through the digital, through the World Wide Web, you're going to have to have a broadcast system in your place and space, and we can help you do just that. Raise your hand for two things. Say, Stan, please help me build my station. And perhaps you want to say, Stan, I've got something uh, like your friend. I've got something wise, maybe even wonderful to say, and I'd love to share it. It's one of my new ideas. And uh, could I audition to be on your program? That'd be see if I can figure it out. If I can be on yours and do a good job, maybe I'll have my own. Well, I'd love to see if we can make that happen. Ideas will build your influence. And your influence will increase your impact. And put them all together, and you'll have more good income. Think about that. Let it sit on your head for a while. I'm Stan Houston. I'll be back, you be back too, and bye for now. 